Skull and welcome my friends, I'm Hodotak and we are trying War Tile. War Tile hits the Murder Access a couple of days ago. It is a Viking themed um, board game uh, style strategy game and that's, that's really cool, it's beautifully done. Um, I got a, a, a press copy from the developer and as always with early access titles there are um, success stories but there are also stories where the games have been abandoned so use your own um, discretion. That being said, the game is very, very polished. The um, devs already worked three years on it before they put it on Steam Early Access. Um, you play with these figures over here. These are my units. So if I go into the unit rack, uh, I can move these into my longboat and sort of ready them for battle. You can see that they are animated, but that is that is the charm of this. So you're playing in... in um, 3D dioramas in that game. And we're going to go into the into the thing in a second. You can see that this is the map that you're playing on or the map where you select your missions. Um, this is the North Sea. You have Denmark down here. Um, you have Norway. You have parts of Sweden, England. Um, you can upgrade your units. So these guys, I can um, change who I want up, who I want to upgrade. And then I can give them certain equipment things. Um, you can find stuff like helmets um, that I can then drag onto these guys. They have a couple of um, uh, values. It's not too much, but they can level up. If you have a look at um, the rings around them, you can see this is a higher level unit um, than the spearman who has no ring or uh, than this guy who has a, a bronze ring. So they do level up if they get... Um, experience in combat you can find new equipment for them as i said and they only have a couple of stats so they have the health points they have the amount of damage that they do the movement points that's pretty important um the armor so that's um, reducing damage that they take if they do get hit um this is the chance to deflect attacks completely so they they um do not get hit and this is their chance to hit the enemy. There are currently three classes in the game, three classes of figurines. I think we have only two at the moment. So we have the Spearman and we have the Warrior class. This is our starting guy. And you can also upgrade your, your guys with more um, tokens. So, oh, I actually got more tokens because this guy leveled up. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I think I've made this guy a little bit tankier. So I, I gave him a higher deflect chance and also gave him some health. Let's go for this as well. Um, yeah, I can I can go for a lot of these tokens, so I guess that's gonna be it. Um, so now he's buffed in various aspects. You can see that um, that sort of changes um, the stats down here. So the fuller the thing is, the higher the level. I guess this guy can also get another token. Yes, he can indeed. So he has the health. Um, actually, I, maybe I should bring him out to be our damage dealer. Um, although, no, let's make him tankier as well. Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to stay too much in this. Here's an, an equipment thing where you can hire either mercenaries or buy equipment later. I don't think that the equipment buying is in there already, but it's just beautifully done with this um, triptychon um, in the back, sort of uh, showing the tavern. Um, it's really stylish. Um, and then what you also have are these global cards. So you can um, have your own deck. They get unlocked or you can find stuff inside the map. So, for example, this lightning thing, uh, we don't have that yet. Well, we have a warhorn, we have the strength of magna, we can heal units. And I think I'm actually going to change this because the game is pretty difficult. The game is pretty difficult. Um, I've been playing about two hours, but I've mainly been playing the tutorial and fumbling with um, settings and stuff to find out as much as possible. Um, so you, um, the things are replayable. So that's the first thing where you basically only go up to the to the top of the map and sacrifice a goat. That was not too difficult. All these all these maps come in three difficulty settings. Um, they get sort of um, unlocked if you win on the on the lowest level. But we're going to go for the next one. So during the night, the lost Norse roam the swarms, a phenomenon said to originate from the skull of hell, that call on lost Vikings from the pits of hell offering them a chance to earn their seat in Valhalla. Right, so we're gonna go and we're gonna try to get that Skull of Hail. Um, about a quarter of the story campaign is um, in there at the moment. More is going to follow, more content. And from what I've seen, so we're gonna take our, our main um, hero. 
Um, actually, I thought about naming these. Currently, you can't do that. That would be pretty nice if you could actually name them. This seems to be a little bit offset. Maybe it's my recording software. No, it's also offset in here with the resolution. Um, would be kind of nice if you could name your figurine. So we're going to name this guy. This guy's going to be Thorgrim. And we're going to have him as Björn. Uh, I can't take him with me, but he's going to be Ragnar because he does have that Ragnar Lothbrok look um, going on there. So we're going to take these two guys. Maybe we should take him. Um, he can sort of attack from range with his um, spear. Yeah, no, we're going we're gonna to be fine. We're going to be fine. The Lost North. The sound of scraping metal emerging from the darkness as Lost Norse warriors crawl out from their hideouts. So we have these... these Draugr, Lost Norse Warriors, and that is actually a pretty difficult map. So that's our objective. We have to gain the Skull of Hail, and you can you can now see the the beautiful diorama. So it's it's all made up of um, of tiles. This guy does have the the Skull of Hail, right? Um, uh, you can see that he's bigger than the others, and we we'll definitely have to we we'll definitely have to fight him. I should make I should go for pause here. What's what's happening? Yeah, that's the second that's the second objective. The boats. The madness from the lost north spreads across the water. Smash their boats and stop it. That's what we're gonna try. Because you can see this. Um this is an enemy spawn point. So as long as these boats exist, we have um more and more enemies are gonna come in. So we actually we've gotta be uh, pretty quick about it. Um so yeah, these objectives are down here, and if you click on them you'll see the objectives uh, themselves. Just in slow mode currently, um, because I don't want too much time to pass. Because the enemies are already moving. The enemies are already moving. So we got five boats on here. We've got some treasure chests that we have to go for. And these rune stones, they do heal your people and they provide also a, um, a save point. Um, right, but it does look absolutely stunning. And uh, now we've got our figurines. We can just move them. This white thing um, around them that shows when they can when they can move when they can take an action. So I think what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna get out get out of the pause. We can't do anything with this rune stone currently. Um, we're gonna wait here. I think we're gonna let them come so that we can attack them on our own. Each unit has their own abilities, um, like shield um, attack. I think we also have a shield push. For the higher levels, uh, shield bash. I mean, yeah, that's the shield bash. Okay, so we're we're hitting this guy now, and we're hitting them with with both our guys. So that should be fine. And you can see that he that he's already losing health. So the health bar is basically the the amount of color under the figurine. And if it reaches zero, the figurine gets destroyed. Okay, come on. Yes, very good. And we gained some some godly power um, that we can use to. Yeah, play play global spells. Okay, and uh, now we we got this guy flanked, which is very bad for him because we're attacking from both sides. Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be gone in a second. Right, we do want to go for these chests because um, they're pretty useful. Um, you do get bonuses if you attack from a higher tile um, onto a lower tile, so that's that's something. I guess we gotta I guess we gotta deal with this guy first. Yeah, he's gonna go in a second. He's gonna go in a split second. Okay, we've got more points. I'm not gonna use anything yet. Okay, come on, fill the chest. Okay, we've got some money for more mercenaries. Um, the thing is, the longer I stay up here, the longer the enemies actually have time to um, summon more, more units, right? Um, and these are... Um, obstructions and you guys will remove them if they are there um, guess we'll, we could actually sort of take this guy from both sides I'm not sure if we're not losing too much time with this but let's go for it okay nice right so we do want to get into this into this cave At first level, actually worked fairly well, I'd say. Um, let's bring you up. Okay, we're going after these obstructions. All right. Okay, and we're in the cave now. Let's go for this chest. Oh, and there's a trap. There's a 
there's a trap. I guess I can, if I move one of my guys next to it, I can actually pick it up. Yes, and then I can place it if I wanted to. So I'm going to place it here so that these guys actually have to run into the trap. Oh, and he's he's pretty hurt. Now that I... Yeah, we're not going to use it because we have the rune stone right outside. Okay, one of them is dead. I'm going to move around you. Take you from the rear. Like this. Come on. Kill the dude. I know you can do it. Yes, he's gone. Very good. So, let's get outside now. I don't think there's anything in this cave anymore. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. So... Oh no! We actually hit a trap. Yeah, should have known. Should have known. Did our trap do, do something? I think so. I think that one undead guy actually um, got hurt pretty heavily. Alright. Um, okay. So now we got this waypoint saved. We got our guy healed. And now it definitely is a good idea to have a look around the map before you do your action. So we could just charge straight down here. But I think the better way of doing this is actually breaking through here and destroying the, the boats down, down there. Because um, we are at a disadvantage in, um, in terms of our numbers. So we'll just, we'll just try to push through here. We're going to use our defense guy to, to bring up the rear. Uh, now we're fighting down from, from the height. So that does give us um, defensive bonuses. They're coming for us. Um, definitely. Come on. Yeah, we do want to destroy these things. And uh, we want to move in that in that direction. Okay, the first spawn point is done. Oh, right. Moving people. And they're coming after us. But I don't think they'll actually get us this time. So, I'm going to bring you forward. And I'm going to use him to destroy that spawn point. We're actually doing pretty well. Um, I think it's pretty normal having to play having to play these things um, a couple of times. Because they're kind of puzzles, right? Um, might not necessarily be able to... Oh, I really don't want to fight this guy. I don't, really don't want to be fighting this guy upwards. Oh yeah, no. He's going away. That's good. That's good. That makes me happy. Come on. Kill the dude. If you possibly can. Yes. Only one more hit. Come on, I know you can do it. He deflected a hit. Yes, and he's gone. Very good. So we're going to bring you up. We're going to bring you over. And with the next with the next turn, we can actually destroy this spawn point. And then I do want to wait for both of them. Um, do we want to engage him? I don't think so. Yes, okay. The third boat is down. So now the, the enemy's spawn ability... It's actually pretty low. That makes me that makes me very happy. If you let them run for too long, you're gonna have a huge problem. Okay, so they're coming towards us now. I'm actually not too keen on. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Uh, we could even try to sort of move around him. Oh no! Now I engage two of them. That's not good. I'm gonna bring you over. Yeah, I do. I do want to kill the the big dude first. I might have to do a bit of a bit of healing here. Yeah, uh, maybe not. Maybe not right now. Maybe maybe in a second. Oh, he's being he's being flanked. Come on. Um, yeah, I definitely have to do some some healing here. Come on, heal him, and we get another healing card because I only have healing cards in my deck, at least for this scenario. Well, yeah, that won't that won't do. Come on, kill him. I know you can do it. He needs to fall. And then we're gonna get out of there. Um, he's also very close to going down. I mean, I have a, I have a bunch of um, points. Still. Come on, take him down. It's just one more hit. Or oh, two more hits. Yes! And he leveled up. Very good. Um, I, think I, can, I think I can pick this up. Come on. Oh, I guess not. What we're going to do is we're going to bring him out of the fight. Um, we're going to heal him. We're going to get another healing card. Uh, I don't think I have a problem with healing up my units. Because we're nearly through this. We're nearly through it. So come on, take him out. 
Come on. Right. Okay, so now we can pick up the Skull of Hail. Um, so we um, fulfilled our first objective. Oh, and he's coming. He's getting his his uh, butt kicked because he's fighting two against one. But you can see that new undead warriors are arriving, so we definitely should go for the boats. Come on. I'm gonna bring him behind him in the hopes that we can take him down. Okay, so that's good. Um, let's bring him over. Let's bring him over here. So we're gonna double team this guy. Come on, take him down. Take him down, very good. One of them is fighting from the from the top. This guy is also rather low. We're gonna double him. So that should work, come on. Yeah, it's no problem now. I don't think so. I don't think that that's gonna be a problem anymore. We went through this pretty pretty efficiently, but only because I already played this um, like once. Um, I haven't played further than this, so we're gonna see how things go um, further in. Uh, and I do think, yeah, there's one more boat in the back there that we have to destroy to fulfill our second objective. Uh, and we only, I guess we, I guess we can only um, fight the guy in uh, along this path. I'd rather attack him with both my guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let him come towards us like this, um, so that we can attack with both. And then we're gonna try to sprint back there. Try to take him on. He's moving. He's moving. He's definitely coming. Come on. I guess I guess I gotta heal him. Yep. Things are going well. Things are going well. I'm I'm really happy. I actually lost um or well, I didn't lose it so much as that I was reset to the waypoint, so Okay, so let's take down this ship now, so that they can't spawn anymore. Yes! So, we finished the boats, and if you complete all objectives on a map, then it, it'll um, open up the next difficulty level. So bring you down, bring you down, bring you down, bring you down. And let's get into the boat! Yes! Completed the level, uh, you get a score at, uh, at the end of each. So we got 2,000 in terms of score. And we got a new level um, over here. Can we buy anything new? Doesn't look like it. And no new mercenaries. We, we did find stuff though, I think. I think we got that skull. I wonder what that skull does. Um, let's see. Oh, we also got some nice shields. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna equip our main dude with some with some stuff. Okay, you you have that thing. I'm gonna give it to you because it it just looks really cool. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's yeah if it's amazing or what it does. It would actually be kind of nice to to see how that works. Um, shield push, shield bash. Yeah, we're gonna get this. Um, at a higher level, I guess. Yeah, card unlocks at level 5. So, we still got a ways to go with him. Um, no more points. I do think that with the next um, thing, we can use all three of our guys. From the roof of Norway, the Hydrun tribe had carved themselves deep into the mountain walls, echoing in the distance the sound of a mighty battle horn, blazing fire into those weak of heart. It was said to be the voice of Tyr himself. Right. Um, how many can we take? Yeah, we can take all three. So that's something. So we've got to equip all of them properly as well. Um, so you got the better shield. That's pretty nifty. Um, let's see what we can do for the next one. Oh, we still got a better shield for you as well, apparently. All right. Uh, for the better shield. That does something, right? Yeah, that's just it's just plain better. I don't think this guy can use a shield. We don't really have anything for you. Um, he can immobilize other units, so that's pretty that's pretty useful. Um, yeah, I don't really have any equipment for you. That's a shame, but oh well, we'll live with it. Um, so both our guys have, have proper shields. I think there's nothing else to do now. Um, oh no, no, it's just a unit wreck. So we've got to start this again. 
And we could also, um, now that we've finished one of the one of the other things, we could play on higher difficulties, try to gain better loot out of the old battle board. So if you if you are not able to to progress um, in one scenario, then uh, it might be a good idea to go back and replay one of your old scenarios on a higher difficulty. Um, but it it seems that we've reached 20 minutes. So rather than starting this now, I think we'll just um, start the next scenario in the next episode. I do thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, then please leave a like. That is especially helpful in the first episode of a series. And uh, yeah, leave any comments, any questions. And I do think that the game is already uh, is also 10% um, off on Steam for I, th I think until the 24th of uh, of March still. So if you want to pick it up, um, it might be a good time. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hope I see you in the next episode. Thanks and bye-bye.